Hello, and welcome to the Timmy Care tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of using Timmy Care in one of our clinics. For those who are not familiar with Timmy Global Health's medical clinic setups, patients make a number of stops at different stations in the clinic. They start at registration, then proceed to triage, then do a medical professional for a patient consult, and finally check out after seeing a pharmacist. Vitals, history, and the chief complaints are all recorded at the triage station. Some lab work is also performed in clinic and done at the nurse's station. What you see now is the home interface screen for Timmy Care. You can see all the different components of a Timmy clinic represented. This enables the users of Timmy Care to easily navigate the software as patients make their way through the clinic. So are you ready to begin using Timmy Care? The first step of clinic is patient registration. To begin, let's open up the registration module. Here you can search for a patient using three different criteria, government ID, gender and date of birth, and by name. To start, you can search for a patient using the government ID number. To do so, click on the words government ID, and a dotted box will appear around the phrase. Once the dotted box appears, you are free to enter the patient's government ID. By pressing enter, it will prompt TimmyCare to search its database for a patient tied to that specific ID number. Throughout this demonstration, I will use myself as a mock patient. As you can see below, my name, Ellie Trotsky, appears. Okay, but let's assume for some reason that didn't work. Click on the gray arrow at the right of your screen to advance into the next page. On this page, you will be able to use the gender and date of birth of a patient in order to search for their file. By clicking on the pictorial representation for male or female and by selecting their date of birth, you will prompt TimmyCare to search for the patient using that search criteria. Once the information is inputted into the system, simply press on the magnifying glass and TimmyCare will look for any patient matching those numbers. As you can see, Ellie Trotsky is still pulled up. But let's say government ID and date of birth and gender didn't pull up the patient. We can also try to search for the patient using their first and last name. In order to do so, click on the gray arrow on the right of the screen again to move to the next page. Here, just as in government ID, you see the phrase first names and last names. By clicking on this phrase, a dotted box will appear and will allow you to type in to this area. Typing in the name and pressing enter will prompt Timmy Care again to search for the patient. At any point in this search process, you can stop once the patient is found. If you need to edit their information, click on the pencil icon just to the right of the government ID. You can also register the patient for clinic by clicking on the arrow found to the right of the pencil icon. Upon selecting the arrow, Timmy Care will prompt you to ask the patient to agree with the Timmy Care consent form. Once they consent, Timmy Care will automatically assign their in clinic patient ID number. This in clinic patient ID number will be used throughout the rest of the clinic day. Once Timmy Care has assigned this number to the patient, write the number down somewhere on their hand or on a name tag is a great spot for this number. Once you do that, send the patient on their way. We have now officially registered the patient for clinic. By clicking on the X of the pop-up screen, we will be taken back to the registration window and can choose to start over the registration process by clicking on the refresh icon in the top right of the screen. The patient may not be in the system because they've never been to clinic before. If this is the case, you can click on the other icon in the top right hand corner of the screen to add the patient into the system. At this point, you can add the patient's name, government ID, sex, birthday, and any contact information they have. We can go ahead and add the other Timmy Fellow, Ann Polcari, for demonstration purposes. Clicking on the Create Visit button will register the patient with Timmy Care, prompt you to ask them to digitally sign the consent form, and assign them a number for today's clinic. At this point, we'll log out of the registration module by clicking the logout button in the bottom left hand corner. Each of these stations would typically be done by different people in the clinic. 
but for demonstration purposes, I'll log in and out of each station. By clicking log out in the bottom left, we've been taken back to the home screen. Now that we're here, let's continue to follow along with my clinic visit and click on the history module. We'll be prompted to input the patient's and clinic ID number before we can advance. So let's put in the number that was assigned to me during the registration process. Once that is entered, press enter to advance. In the history module, we can take notes on the chief complaints of the patients and also record chronic conditions, current medications, medicine allergies, and the last known parasite treatment. To fill in the information, click on the dotted boxes just like we have been doing in the past. Once you have put in the information, it will automatically save. So let's type in some simple examples of the complaints. Let's say I chronically experience headaches, but I don't have any allergies or current medications. Also, I have a sore right knee that I'll put in the chief complaint. Now that the information is in Timicare, we're ready to move on to the next stage of clinic. Just like in registration, in order to log out, we'll click on log out in the bottom left and we'll be taken back to the Timicare home screen. The next step is to take some vitals. So click on the vitals module and we can record this valuable information. As before in the history section, you will again be prompted for the patient's in-clinic ID number. Once you've logged into that patient, you can take the blood pressure and heart rate and record the information as prescribed. You can also fill in temperature, weight, height, head circumference, and BMI. The complaints and the chronic conditions and last parasite treatment from the history section shows up on this patient's Timmy Care page. Once you have finished filling out all the necessary information for the vital section, you can come up here and put in the next patient's number. You can also log out to go to a new section by clicking log out in the bottom left and you'll be taken back to the Timmy Care homepage. The next module is the lab section of Timmy Care, where any of the tests that we may run for our patients are listed and the results can be recorded. You can add all the different various tests by clicking on one of the main categories listed here. For example, if you need to add blood exams, you can click Add All Blood Exams. It is also possible to remove extra tests by clicking Remove on the right here. If you'd like to add an individual exam, you can also click Add Exam here and find the exam you're looking for, whether it be a pregnancy exam or a serum glucose test. In order to record a result, simply click over the underlined area and the dotted box will appear. Now feel free to enter your result and click out, the result will be saved, and now you can log out at the lab section by clicking log out and you'll head back to the Timmy Care homepage. The next part of Timmy Care, the doctor module, is one of the most powerful features of the Timmy Care software. Once a patient's in clinic ID number is logged in, the medical professional will be prompted to select their name out of the list. The first page of this module shows all the information that has been recorded thus far in today's clinic. The medical professional can also begin taking notes on the history of the present illness or complaint. To advance to the next page, move the cursor to the far right of the screen and click on the gray bar that appears. To move back to the previous screen, click on the gray bar on the far left that will appear after hovering your cursor on the edge of the screen. On the second page of the doctor module, a medical professional can review the results of all the patient's previous visits to a clinic that has been using TimmyCare. So any doctor can now see what a patient was treated for and prescribed as well as their vitals from the previous time they visited. This is a powerful tool in diagnosis and also in recognizing trends in the treatment of this patient. Clicking on the gray bar on the far right will advance the doctor module to the next page. On this page of the doctor module, the medical professional can begin their exams, diagnosis, and prescribing medication. In order to add a diagnosis, click Add Diagnosis here towards the bottom of the screen. In order to see a list of the currently supported 
conditions, click on list conditions over here on the right. Here you will see all the diagnoses and conditions that TimiCare currently supports in its software. There's a wide variety of options to choose from, and we encourage your medical professionals to stick to these diagnoses. The medical professional may also view all the medications that we should have at the Timmy Clinic by clicking on the list of medications. This is an easy way that medical professionals can check to see which medications the Timmy Care Clinic is currently carrying. Once a medical professional has decided on a diagnosis, click on Diagnosis and begin typing. The diagnosis should automatically populate and the medical professional can insert that diagnosis. In order to add a prescription, click on Add Prescription. Again, the medication name will automatically populate as you type it in. You can add dosings and how often the patient should take it throughout the rest of the information. You can also add notes and a second prescription by clicking on Add Prescription or Add Notes. To add a second diagnosis, click Add Diagnosis. Once the medical professional is satisfied with the exams and diagnosis of medications, he or she may advance to the last page of the doctor module of TimmyCare. Here the doctor can refer the patient to one of Timmy Global Health's partner hospitals or clinics located in country. For more information on this, talk with the local MPC. If no referral is needed, the doctor can simply click sign to sign off on this patient and send the medication and prescription to the pharmacist to be filled. TimiCare will automatically log the doctor out of that patient's profile. By clicking log out, you'll be taken back to the TimiCare home screen. And the final part of a TimiCare clinic is the pharmacy. So let's enter the pharmacy site now. The pharmacy module of TimiCare is much different than all the other modules. There's no need to input a patient's in-clinic ID number. It simply shows a workflow for the pharmacist and the pharmacy volunteers. The pharmacist can view all the incoming medications by expanding the incoming section. For this day's clinic, you can see that there's two prescriptions. One is still currently being seen by a doctor and the other one has been approved by the doctor and signed off on. Examine. The pharmacist can now review the prescription and check for any errors or flaws. If the prescription checks out, the pharmacist can click the forward button here in order to advance the prescription to the next stage of the pharmacy. The reviewed section is usually manned by a volunteer. This volunteer will proceed to write out the medication labels for this prescription. Once the labels have been written, the volunteer will again forward the prescription on to the next stage of the pharmacy. The count section is usually manned by yet another Timmy volunteer. In this section, this volunteer will count out the pills required for this prescription and also bag the pills, after which she will take the labels that were written by the previous volunteer manning the reviewed part of pharmacy and attach them to the bags. The he or she will also record the number of pills that were counted out for this prescription into Timmy Care. This will ensure that the correct number of pills have been prescribed and also given out for each medication. Once this is done, the, this volunteer will click the forward button yet again to move the prescription into the approved section. At this stage, the pharmacist will look over the prescription one more time before finally selecting approve all, which will send this prescription to the handout part of pharmacy. Once the prescription has been moved into the handout section, a health promoter or Spanish translator will hand out the medication to the patient and also tell them how to correctly take the medication and any special notes the pharmacist or the doctor may have for that patient. Once the medication is handed out, click hand out all, which will then move the medication into the done section of pharmacy and the patient is then sent on their way. That is the end of the team care clinic process. So they log out, and you'll be taken back to the home screen. We have now taken a patient through every step of the Timmy Care process. I hope you have found this video informative, and if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the Timmy 
Global Health staff. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful trip with Timmy Global Health.